Hello everyone, we are here with uh, Martin Watts from Mallorca. Sifo! Okay, yes, Master no Marty, Martin Watts from Mallorca. And this is a bit different interview because I'm going to the airport for my next stop in Toulouse. So I, I lied to a Martin for speaking a, a little bit in the camera for our channel. So Martin, you have something to say for they can see this video later? Yeah, I hate interviews. <laughs> so, don't lose this opportunity, eh? Bam. Okay, first question for Martin Watts. So, Martin, tell us who you are and which style of Kung Fu you do in your life. Well, Nacho, the, I'm doing White Crane Kung Fu from South China. Oh, uh, what, what else? <laughs> and who, who, how many years? How many years? Well, that's a terrible question because when you get older, you say you've done Kung Fu, Kung Fu for more years, but it doesn't mean that you're any better. <laughs> so that's a terrible question, Nacho. <laughs> Sorry for this terrible question. It's okay, you are young and inexperienced in this game. <laughs> so, why you don't like the interviews, Martin Watts? <laughs> I think... I think that there's very little to say that isn't said by everyone else. And so interviews become about someone's life philosophy and generally they know nothing. So they're just not interesting to listen to. Okay, one, one question more for you, Martin. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because I know you don't like uh, interview, but... I'm very, como, how we, we say in Spanish, cabezón. Cabezón. So, <laughs> it's like a, I try and try and try. Yes, you do try and try, Nacho. <laughs> Always. <It's true. laughs> With everything. It's, I think Even it's when one... you're in the car going to the airport, you still want the fucking interview. <laughs> we are going to the airport. So, one question, Martin, is yeah, like... Yeah. Um, can you say us uh, one good experience in your life with martial arts? Uh, traveling and meeting people. Yes. You see, that's what everyone says. It's such a boring answer. <laughs> really? Everyone who's in this game has that experience. But, for There's example, interesting. about this boring ask uh, question, uh, yeah, it's boring. maybe you can say yes, one travel magic for you. Oh, uh, a, a good travel experience. Uh... Well, there's many because you just meet more and more people, so that's really good. So, yeah, that. Oh, and no, they're just that, really. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing you can tell me in private, don't worry. Uh, and now you can tell us something about the other side of the coin. One bad experience in your life or one bad thing you think is in the martial art world. And don't say interview because I know interview you don't like. Uh, the worst experience was probably doing push-hands with your primo. <laughs> Who, with Ruben? With Ruben. What happened in that experience? He treated me like a small eight-year-old girl and threw me around. <laughs> and do you know Ruben? He's just 20 years old, guy. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a young bully. <laughs> he's not his family. And another bad experience in your life? Uh, then I met Nacho. <laughs> and from there it all went to shit <laughs> and now I've stopped training <laughs> and another question Martin you can give for all martial artists and this is serious question okay, okay really okay. Uh, you can give us one good advice for our life for, uh, but for martial artists you know for martial art lovers for martial artists yeah don't, don't get in a fight. <laughs> uh, no, uh, a good piece of advice. Uh, really a, a sensible piece of advice. Um, I'll give you two. Two advice. Two pieces of advice. Number one, when you find a martial arts family, stay in the family. If you wander around looking for many families, in the end you have no family. First piece of advice. Second piece of advice. 
I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> there was two, but I can't remember the other one. The second one, follow the first one. Follow the first one, yeah. <laughs> okay, Martin, another yes. question. Yes, sensei. Or are you a shifu or guru? I don't know. Yes. What are you? Yes, what I'm are you, Nacho? Yes, I'm Nacho. Fucking nightmare is what you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, Martin, uh, why... Yeah. Why do you decide white crane style? Why? Why? It was just a mistake. I went to a town thinking I would do a different style and they did white crane and I was tired so I stayed there. I couldn't be bothered to travel any further. <laughs> That's true. This is the true story. And what is the this main is a true story? And the main characteristic characteristic or main part of uh, this style? The main part of White Crane. I don't know. Do I still find it? I'm not looking anymore. Now I go windsurfing instead. <laughs> <laughs> I've given up. <laughs> okay, Martin, now yeah. I have one surprise question because in this, in, in this kind of video, just we can do interview. Later, maybe you do uh, one technique of me, but I don't think so. So, yeah, I have... <laughs> no, no! We are in the car! No! no. no. <laughs> so, what do you hate in martial art world? Uh, what do I hate in it? Uh, that's a good question, Nacho. I'm glad that you asked me that. Um, I don't hate anything in the martial arts world, but I find it quite funny. Because the martial arts world is just filling up what people need. For example, adults love wearing uniforms. They like dressing up and pretending they're someone else. And they can do it in a church, or they can do it in the army, or in the police. Or they can do it, they can all dress in the same uniform and do the same silly dance. And it's a ritual. Um, I find that quite interesting and also laughable. Um, that people, when they take themselves seriously, are actually trying to be someone different from who they are. For example, uh, people who speak bad Chinese, they don't even know what the words mean, but they think it makes it more authentic. And it's not, it's more authentic to use the words in English or Spanish that actually explain what you're talking about. So I, I find that laughable, but I don't hate it. It's cute. Like fudging! <laughs> or tun <tum> tui! <laughs> I don't know. I never understand it. Okay, Martin, I know you do uh, Chinese martial art, yeah. but I know you are quite famous for the Japanese martial artists. And, and now I want to ask you, what do you feel, which difference do you feel between Chinese martial artists, Japanese martial artists? Because uh, I know they are quite different. So you have the real experience about this. What you can say us? I think, yeah. I don't really know. This is the thing when people talk about their shit, they don't really know, and also they don't know. But my feeling for a long time is that Chinese practitioners will take a technique and train it to death. And Chinese practitioners need to do it more. But sometimes, well, this, is a good, this is a good answer, but sometimes Japanese practitioners I don't know in Japan, only in the West. They actually kill the technique by training it to death because they think they know what it's for. And maybe they should be less confident about what things are for and it would be more interesting. Nice. Thank you. Nice to know. Okay, Martin, and uh, why you work more with uh, karate people than kung fu people? Because you are a kung fu teacher. Well, normally karate people are nicer. <laughs> No, not really. Well, they are often nicer, actually, but uh, maybe not quite so crazy. But the, um, in, in our style of Kung Fu, a lot of Japanese people think that their old teachers traveled in China and learned close to this area. So it's interesting for them to see what the old style is. Maybe they think that it helps them understand their karate. In, in this, actually, Karate people are more open-minded um, because they're actually looking for that sort of thing. 
and prepared to change what they do. Maybe. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Okay, Martin. Uh, I know you from Twiso, and I want to know. This is one question I never do, but uh, I want to know what do you think about Twiso, about Twiso World. I don't know. What do you want to say about the Twiso World? Um, I think the Twice Show work is quite deep. You can use it for any style. It's something which you you should all be able to do. It's like when people talk about Qigong, which I <laughs> I find a funny thing. Um, because for me, Qigong is part of Kung Fu. So if you do Kung Fu, you're doing Qigong. If you do Qigong on its own, without the Kung Fu or something else, it just doesn't work. It achieves nothing or very little or maybe it doesn't achieve as, as much as it could. But in, in that same way, the Tui Shou, if you, it's something that can be ex used to explore what most people should be able to do anyway. And the reality is, most people can't do it. And you can learn to do it to a level quite quickly. So it's very rewarding to, to put onto the training that you already do. And that is going to be the last question, otherwise I'm going to crash. I'm already speeding. As I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> oh, this, this trip's going to cost me a fucking speeding ticket. So, you, can, you want to say something for, uh, for the people who watch this video? Uh, yeah, uh, do some Tway Show. Yeah, and uh, maybe do it with Nacho if you can tolerate him. <laughs> or, or one of his students. But not his cousin, who I hate. <laughs> after that first terrible defeat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Rob. We see you in Toulouse. See you in Toulouse. Thank you.